All right, part two, let's go. Riddler presents a key, which can be used to open up the safe at the Federal Reserve. Clayface wants to join Riddler for this mission, so he lets him come. Inside this parking garage, I might control the security guard into opening the gate for us. I move this garbage truck, pull these levers, then slowly but surely press on the floor buttons inside the elevator. For some reason, I wanted to break this pad on the wall, but instead, I killed a cop. So, I restarted. Since the Riddler is a fucking prick, I ended up doing the same thing again. So, once again, I restarted. This time, I made this ladder come down as Clayface, then made my way towards the next room. The one cool thing about Riddler is that he can use his cane to stun enemies for a moment, and he can't grab enemies. I used that to my advantage and built this magnet crane. I smashed through some walls with the crane, then used Clayface's strength ability to make it towards the final room. I tried to use a suicide loophole on the cops, but it didn't work out. I then built a ladder to make my way up. On top, I mind controlled this guard to make the gargoyle fall. I then built an atomic bomb, then blew it up. Clayface takes the key, but then sees a pile of gold. He builds a house out of it, but Riddler gets impatient, then leaves. Probably wanted to see poison ivy on the toilet. Riddler has a camera installed in his bathroom and is seen taking a shit. He then quickly switches the hologram to the ice truck, so Mr. Freeze insists on joining on this next mission. At the ice cream factory, Freeze freezes some cops. I tore off the rest of this pipe to make my way towards the roof of the building. I then build, then pull both of these levers and make my way inside. Inside the factory, the GCP's finest end up falling to their deaths. I then freeze this red stuff in the rocks to create a path to the other side. I then mind control this guy in order to make the lake of red rice. Some cops fall into the liquid, then I push this door open to make my way up top. I then go higher up and down below. I went back into the previous room as freeze in order to respawn Riddler back on top. I then press on both of these wheels to reveal stairs. I then use this question door to make my way to the final room. Inside, I build a cannon and blow up the AC pushing out cold air. I then mind control someone to push a box down so I can build a ladder. And I just gotta say, getting up ladders in this game was a bitch because the cops cock block you whenever you attempt to climb up. Eventually though, I did press all four floor buttons to step on the final one. As the ice vehicle is revealed to us, Mr. Freeze unthaws his goons. Riddler shows Ivy the truck and the Viagra trees. They then make their way towards the Gotham Garden. Riddler ends up stomping on a flower, which triggers Poison Ivy. They are both seen by Commissioner Gordon, so he calls for backup. I built the flower car and used it to break open this gate. I blocked the opening so I could break all the plants to build a rotator without the enemies getting in. I then jumped in this car as Ivy and made it to the other side. But for some reason, the cops activated maximum strength out of nowhere and pushed the car out of the way. After much trial and error, I got both Riddler and Ivy to pull these levers so I can head inside. I grew some plants, then pushed down the statue to build a question door. Wait a minute, so was this guy behind the wall the whole time, or are the question doors portals to another dimension? Anyways, outside the garden, I built a Venus flytrap to bust open this gate, then a swan to do the same thing. I then mind control a worker to turn off the gas and to open the door. Inside, I built a tractor to help Riddler get across. I use another question door, then head down. I turn off the gas, then make my way across to get up towards the final room. In the final room, I powered on two of the three lights. Before turning on the third light, I made all the cops commit suicide by having them walk towards the deadly gas. The cops, however, end up responding indefinitely. This time, I made all but one of them die. After this, I end up powering on the third and final light. Ivy hugs a tree, then gives Riddler Viagra tree seeds. Ivy then gets all excited when laying on a bunch of petals. As Riddler shows Two-Face a hologram of the big scary gun, he takes a sharp left, which annoys Riddler. At the science lab, I think, Riddler and Two-Face hop on the top of the truck to sneak in. An ice cream van then pulls up to give the security guard ice cream. Outside the parking lot, the villains dig a hole to sneak in further. I build this rotator to make the escalators go up. On the upper floor, I stun the cops, then break the objects to build the color floor buttons. I then press on them in order to unlock the elevator. In the next room, 
I filled up the room with toxic waste. I attempted to make this cop fall in the toxic waste, but he wasn't falling for my tricks. Eventually, I gave up and built this box and pushed it into the wall. I then did the same thing on the other side and turned on this door to open it. In the next room, I built this robot to control this scientist so I can control the robot. With the robot, I turned off the lasers. Further down the room, I got a vacuum cleaner out of the garage, then used it to turn these red buttons on the floor to green. After this door opened, I made my way to the final room. I pressed on some color wheels, built parts for the robot, got pushed back in the previous room, continued building, then finally hopped in the robot. I then used the robot to break the red coils and retrieve the big scary gun. Riddler and Two-Face argue over who should hold the gun, so Two-Face flipped the coin and won. He then uses the big gun to blow up the robot. At Riddler's lair, Riddler and Two-Face look at the hologram of the Federal Reserve then make their way over there. They then use the truck to make an ice bridge to the bank. They then blow up the bridge, then use a Viagra tree to get to the front of the reserve. Two-Face tries to blast open the door, which ends up failing. I mind control this person and make him build a bulldozer and some dynamite. I then use the bulldozer to destroy the crates blocking the ladder. I make my way up, turn on this coil, then slide down. I then break this lock as Two-Face in order to reveal a ladder. I attempted to push the second battery into the slot to turn on the second coil, but Two-Face got pushed off. The game then decides to have a fucking seizure and teleport us back to the bottom, but I climbed back up and got the second coil turned on. I then built this Riddler chair and controlled the police helicopter to shoot the bank's doors open. Inside the Federal Reserve, I built these rotators to open the doors, then mind controlled this person into opening the security gate. In the next room, I built this box, then slowly but surely at 5 centimeters at a time, pushed it towards the lasers to disable them. I then built this rotator to get Two-Face up to the second floor. I then pulled this lever to get Riddler up and mind control someone to get to the next room. I disabled the toxic gas and disabled some lasers to get to the final room. In the final room, I built these robot legs, then spent 5 more minutes building the rest of the robot. I then hop in the robot and use the mountain guns on it to blow open the gate guarding the gold. Two-Face and Riddler then put on their epic gamer shades and look in glory at the amount of gold inside the Federal Reserve. In this campaign, we surprisingly defeated no enemies whatsoever, so you can beat the entire Riddler villain campaign as a pacifist. Our current total is zero enemies. The Penguin is spying on the dock with a telescope while Chad Bane lifts weights behind him. Penguin tries to jump up but can't, so Bane does him a solid and throws him up there. When using a penguin bomb, I accidentally blew up a bunch of cops, so I restarted. This time, I moved this trailer out of the way, then used this police semi truck to break this fence open. I then placed the truck on the big floor pad, which opens up the door to the next room. In the next room, I built the fan and made my way towards the top. I jumped down to the other side, then got rid of this toxic waste. Afterwards, I pull this ship in order to lower the ramp on its side. Getting to the other side, however, was a pain in the ass because these fucking sailors would push me back in the water, which forces me to swim all the way back and try again. And it sucks major balls whenever one player dies, which causes the other player to drop out and get teleported to the other side of the ship. But eventually, I did make it over and made my way to the final room. In the final room, I pulled some levers and got a box to move over. Okay, for whatever fucking reason, my Xbox decided to not record the last 10 minutes of gameplay. At this point, I was pissed and just quickly rushed through this level. Long story short, I get this elevator to work. I blow up these chains holding this box and I built this satellite as Bane. Penguin hops in his submarine, but is then swarmed by the GCPD, which causes Penguin to ditch Bane. Bane then goes into Tyler 1 mode and gets knocked out by a police car. Inside Penguin's submarine, Catwoman takes Penguin's fish. Penguin was about to beat her ass, but Catwoman shows Penguin the purple gem that can be used to power on the robot penguins. They then make their way over to its location. I fly over these buildings and build a rope to get Catwoman across. I then turn off these fans and convince the simp 
to open a door for us. And I just gotta say, these people behind the heart doors would make great Twitch staff. After getting the cops to commit suicide, I do a glitch in order to skip the police helicopter fight. Doing this glitch, however, breaks my rule of mandatory co-op. But, since Penguin couldn't kill anyone down there, I decided to give this rule an exception. Taking about 10 minutes, I managed to pull both of these levers down as Catwoman, so I can push this gargoyle down and head into the museum. Inside the museum, after I broke some lasers, these janitors end up falling to their deaths and touching a weird death barrier. This ended up becoming a waste of time because they just respawned. Anyways, after that, I grab a hold of these dinosaur skeletons and make my way up top. I built this rotator in order to push the statue. I then turn off the next set of lasers and blew up the glass display guarding the gym. As Penguin has the gym, Catwoman ends up taking it from him. The police then surrounds them so they make a run for it. The simp cops get distracted by Catwoman's acrobatic skills, which causes her to escape. Luckily, Batman was right behind her ass. Penguin witnesses Catwoman being apprehended by Batman. The Coast Guards then spot him, which makes Penguin release his submarine on them. Croc then comes and joins Penguin in the water. I blew up this water turret in order to leave this place. And yes, I do count water turrets as enemies since they do shoot you and they can't kill you. Anyways, after that, I shot another turret and made my way to the next room. I then clean up this toxic waste and blast two more water turrets. I unlock this gate to do the same routine to three more water turrets to head to the final area. In the final room, we confront the police watercraft. So I tricked the missile turret into firing at the police watercraft until it was down at zero hearts. Penguin and Croc drive off after this, as Catwoman is stuck in jail. Her cat comes to her cell and gives her the purple gem. Penguin gets a call from Catwoman, saying that she is currently in jail. Croc and Penguin laugh at her, so she reminds them that she has the purple gem, which convinces them to go and rescue her. I built these electric coils, which causes this door to open. In the next room, I jump through some tubes and open this hatch with brute force. I then built a crocodile, then rode it, which scared the crap out of the workers. I get off the crocodile and go through the blue doors. After the workers fell to their own deaths, I swim through the sewer pipe and rip open this gate blocking the hatch so Penguin can use a bomb to blow up the silver debris. I then built a fan and made my way up top. I then pull this safe out of the wall and press on this plate to open the red doors. Inside the jail cell room, I built another fan and released some of our goons. Killer Croc decides to suplex an officer, so I restarted. This time, I blew open the elevator and made my way towards Catwoman's floor. In the final room, I built and pushed a bomb in order to blow up Catwoman's cell. After Catwoman gives Penguin the gem, he then shows the blueprint of how the gem can turn on the Penguin's satellite. As Penguin gives Croc the Gotham Zoo pamphlet, cops proceed to bust in, so Croc gets ready to bite. Penguin, Catwoman, and Man Bat spy on the police in the arctic biome of the zoo, but end up seeing Batman and Robin, so Penguin and Catwoman make a run for it. I built this ladder, then make my way up to blow up this boulder to get it moving. I then push these boxes down and blow up this bomb to destroy the ice. I built this bulldozer, then inflated a raft. I then used the bulldozer to destroy the big ice cap and activate this elevator. I destroy another ice cap, then head inside. Inside, I built the checkerboard and push this lamp over to the ice to melt it. I then convince this simp to open the vault door for me. After that, I go sliding down towards the final room. In the final room, I turn on the penguins with a laser, then make my way on top to pull both of these levers. The satellite then turns on, which causes the robot penguins to be released from their boxes. In this campaign, we defeated one police helicopter, none if you glitched, seven water turrets, and one police watercraft. This brings the current total to nine enemies, or eight if you glitch. At the GCPD, one of Joker's goons delivers a crate to Commissioner Gordon, which springs out a jack-in-the-box holding a ticket for the Gotham Carnival. The goon then radios Joker. I go through his contraption, then these cops fall to their own deaths. I then go up this ferris wheel and further into the roller coaster. Inside this anti-OSHA roller coaster, I turn on this platform and have these cops slip off. 
and made this coaster ride smash into the rocks so I can get out. Outside, I pressed on these plates and pulled this lever to open the gate to the final area. Inside, we confront Commissioner Gordon. After I take him down some parts, he retreats and sends his reinforcements after us. After I made these cops commit suicide, more of them showed up, which ended up being a waste of time. With the crane, I blew up the police van. As I was making these cops commit suicide, I had this stupid idea of pushing Commissioner Gordon down into the water below. Why is this stupid? Well, because the game ended up soft locking and I wasn't able to complete the level. So I had no choice but the restart. This time, I did everything I stated previously and legitimately made Gordon's life bar zero hearts. Gordon ends up retreating to a wagon, which ends up being a cage in disguise. Joker then ties up Gordon's cage and drags him around with Harley's monster truck. As a cop is taking his coffee break, Joker and Scarecrow come flying by, so he proceeds to chase after them. With a bomb, I blew up these air vents to get to the next area. With Scarecrow's brainwashed torpedoes, I made this missile turret blow up the electric wall so I can make my way to the next room. In the next room, I blow up this clock tower and then this silver wall. In the final room, we come face to face with the police battle helicopter. I made these missile turrets shoot at the helicopter until the helicopter decides to blow them up. I then went ham on his ass until he was down to zero hearts. A guy proposes to a lady, but the lady gets scared which the guy thought he got projected, but she was scared because Scarecrow's plane was coming towards them. Scarecrow then takes the guy and drops him down on top of an antenna. With binoculars, the lady witnesses the man on the antenna and sees Joker and Scarecrow parachuting down with balloons. Joker and Scarecrow then break into the glass roof of this building. I push these statues and make my way up to make the chandelier break the crystal. I then build the rest of this ramp and use this question door as Scarecrow to open the doors in front of me. Next, I built this rotator and used that electric thing as Joker to disable the lasers. In the next room, the cameras shoot out gas, so I built a checkerboard and pushed this pillar to help Scarecrow get up. I then used Joker to build these fans so I can get rid of the gas. The doors then open up. In the next room, I accidentally shocked the cop to death, so I restarted. This time, I built the rotator, then got up as Joker to pull this lever. I then used this electric panel and got in the elevator. In the final room, I tried to push this box, but these cops were protecting it with all their life. But eventually, I got in this crane and placed both of these boxes on these pads to reveal a bridge. I then used a question door to open the garage door. A cop grabs Scarecrow with a crane, and Joker is held at gunpoint, but Joker uses his lav gas and escapes. Joker sees that Killer Moss is attracted to a light pole, so he uses his buzzer to shock him. I made my way across this fire, then made my way up to push this box down. I then built a bomb in order to blow up this barrier. I built this ladder and used this electric coil to power on this platform. I then jump across this bridge and head to the next room. In the next room, I built this helicopter and used the gun on it to blow up the pile of rubble. As I had the entirety of Gotham's police force after me, I used the police car to break open this fence and made my way to the final room. After I unboxed this robot, Commissioner Gordon is back with Harley, so I proceeded to destroy the police truck trailers with the robot. Oh yeah, and to clarify, I won't be adding the trucks to the list because the game only requires you to destroy the trailers, and when you destroy the trailers, the I'm assuming the entire SWAT team is seen leaving the trailers. Anyways, after that, Joker frees Harley, but they are spotted by the Batplane. They leave while Killer Moth becomes attracted to its light. Joker and Harley make their way to the cathedral. Inside, I push this platform with wheels and broke this ladder on top. I then used an electric panel to reveal a scaffold and head up. Further up, I used another scaffold and build a platform as Harley to help Joker get across. I then make my way to the final room. In the final room, the cops fall into the toxic gas below. I rang the bells to blow up the statues and built the Tesla coils. Joker and Harley dance and turn on the Tesla coils. Joker then gets risen up by Harley and gets ready to pull the red lever. In this campaign, we defeated one Commissioner Gordon and one police battle helicopter. This campaign's total is 2 enemies, which brings the overall total to 11 enemies, or 10 if he glitched.
So combining the hero and villain campaigns together, in this entire game, you have to defeat 68 enemies, or 67 if you glitched. And there are 27 or 26 types of enemies you have to defeat. Well, this is the end of LEGO Batman. All I have left now is the Skywalker Saga. And as I stated previously, I will not be doing any more LEGO games besides the one I just mentioned. This is because these drive me fucking crazy. So I pass the torch of LEGO pacifism onto anyone else who wants to complete any other LEGO games as a pacifist. Except for the Skywalker Saga because I'm doing that game if I like it. And I'll tell y'all if I don't like it. Alright, peace out.